Astronauts, we travel the galaxy. Fly. Hello, and welcome to Planet Art's 10 minute masterpiece. Now, as you can see, I've come as somebody else today. Who do you think I am today? Got my basket here with some goodies in to visit my grandmother later. Exactly. Come as Little Red Riding Hood. And that's, of course, because what are we celebrating tomorrow? World Book Day. And I'm sure you've all got the most amazing costumes lined up. So I thought, how about making a bookmark? And this is the one I made. I made a bookmark of the Very Hungry Caterpillar. So would you like to join me and I'll make one? Great. Here are the things we need. A bit of old card, like from a cereal box or something else. A few different colours of card or paper or even felt tips. If you just have white paper, that's fine too. You can then use felt tips and colour in your own paper, can't you? And then we need some corks. Three of those, please. If you have, that would be amazing. And if not, you could maybe get some cotton wool. And again, we would need three of those. You can crunch them up and use the laundry peg and just crunch them up like that. Can you see? Then you can sort of make your own little stamp. So that will work as well. Okay. And then we need three different colors of paint. We need dark green and a lighter green. If you have, whoops, and red just to see see these are the colors that i use if you don't have a light green which i actually don't i just use the dark green and which color do you think did i mix in with it to make my own light green which color can we use to put through paint to make the the color go lighter yes exactly great white so you can do the same as i did just mix the dark green with a bit of white and then you'll get a light green. So, should we get started? Got our paints, let's get printing. I did a repeating pattern. I did light green, dark green, light green, dark green, light green, dark green, and the head I did in red, just like it is in Eric Carl's book. See? But you don't have to do that. You could make a Multicolored caterpillar or rainbow one, whatever you fancy, it doesn't matter. It's your work and your masterpiece. Right, so let's start. I'm starting with dark green, so I'm printing it, and I'm actually with my cork going round a bit to make the circle a bit bigger because I want to make a nice big bookmark. But you can just do a little blob if you wanted to. So I'm making mine bigger, and I'm also doing a repeating pattern of light green and dark green and light green and dark green oh this is coming along nicely and his head is red I'm doing a great big blob at the end that's red and there we are there's my caterpillar you can make yours longer or shorter whatever you want to do now this will take a minute to dry won't it so what I'm asking you to do is put it to dry somewhere and ask your adult to help you to pause your laptop or your iPad, whatever you're watching this on, and then come back when it's all dry. All right, and then we'll continue. I'll see you shortly. Hello, well done. So your caterpillars are dry now, which is brilliant. Next, we need a pair of scissors. What are we going to do? Cut them out. Wait, so mine isn't actually dry yet, but I'm just going to cut it out anyway. Snip, snip, snip. So all around, make sure you don't chop through them. Just cut around your paint. Don't chop out, don't cut out the little circles because we want it to be one long strip, one long caterpillar like this one. Okay? Great. You're all doing brilliantly. You could give these bookmarks as a gift to someone. You could say, happy, happy World Book Day. Happy reading, everyone. Who might you give it to? Yeah. So cutting round the head, round the outside. Oops, snip, snip, snip. 
So yours will be much easier. Yours won't be as messy as this one because yours is dry by now, isn't it? It's better, of course. There. Snip, snip, snip. Getting quite long, isn't it? But this is good because it will fit into little books and big books. Oops. And one more bit. There we are. All around. There. So we'll put the scrap bits to the side. And here we have it. Can you all hold up your caterpillar? Brilliant. Excellent. Good work, everybody. Just wiping my hands. So the next thing we have to do is choose the actual bookmark bit, the thing at the back, the card at the back. You can choose any colour. You might have some leftover bits of card from something else that you made, like I have over here. See, it's just a bit of leftover card. So I'm going to put this down, get my ruler, and just sort of use the width of the ruler. So I'll just put the ruler on it, get my pencil and draw a line along it. See that? If you don't have a ruler, you can use anything else. There. Okay, whatever else you can find that you think might be good to draw a straight line with. So now I'm going to cut that. Let me just do my line in red so you can see it better. There. See? That's what I did. And then what are we going to do? Exactly, we're going to cut it out. Cut, cut, cut. There. Everybody got that? Has everybody got a piece of paper like this? Any colour will do. Next thing, we have to stick our caterpillar onto the card. So got my glue stick, turn it up just a little bit, and then I'll put lots of glue on my card, or you can put it at the back of your caterpillar. Stick it on. There. Doesn't matter if it sticks over a bit at the end and at the top. I think that looks really good. Again, this is a bit tricky because mine is still wet, but it'll be much easier for you. There. So let's have a look at mine that I did earlier. What we need to do next, have a little think. What does our caterpillar need to see? Eyes. I've done them like this to make him look nice and happy. You can use any colours. So again, I'm using scrap paper. I'm cutting two yellow circles. If you find it easier to draw them first, you can do that. But here's a trick I show you. Just fold your paper in half like that. Fold it in half. And then all you have to do is just draw your eye once. Just draw it out once. Now I've only got a red pen, but that's fine. And I'm drawing a sort of egg shape like that. And then if I cut this out with the paper folded up, I will have two eyes the same size straight away, which is brilliant, isn't it? That is what we want. We stick that onto our caterpillar. Again, come to a glue stick. Bit of, bit of glue on the back of both of these eyes. And we'll stick them on. There. That's how far I've got now. There he is. And with my first one, I just gave him a happy little smile. Can we all do that? Give him a little smile. And so again, you can just cut out a little bit of paper. So I've got some leftover blue here from another activity I once did. Now I'm just cutting sort of like a sausage shape. That sort of looks like a smile, doesn't it? I'm going to stick that on. Here's my sausage shape. You can do any shape you want. You might have a you might have a um a sad caterpillar, hopefully not, but you could do that, then it would be the other way around. Or just one that's thinking, you could just cut a line. There we are. And then all we need to do now is draw the circles into the eyes. One, two. And if you want, I do need to reach. Oh, yes, I actually have got something. If you do want, you could do some eyelashes. I love eyelashes and the black bits in the eyes. 
the pupils. I always like doing those. One here and one here. You see that? And there's my caterpillar for World Book Day. What do you think? Great, isn't it? Wonder who you're going to give yours to. Great, well done everybody. Don't forget to ask your grown-up to send some pictures please so we can put them in our show gallery and show everybody. Okay? Have a wonderful World Book Day everybody and keep reading. Thanks for joining today. Bye. Bye everyone.